And there will be a year if he stays at Ole Miss long enough, which he doesn't he doesn't want to. And I don't know what job would come open that he'd be interested in, but I know that he was very actively interested in the the Auburn job. Now I was told that he didn't want to move his family, but Lane Kiffin's self driven is that a nice way to put it? I don't think that <laughs> Caleb made a look for those of you on the video channel. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Lane Kiffin. See, I I'll tell you what I've heard, but I'll tell you if I believe it. So I was told that he didn't make the decision. He didn't move to Auburn and ultimately turned them down because he didn't want to move his kids. Caleb's look is fantastic. But I don't believe that. I believe that Auburn wanted to take over his or have access to his social media accounts, and that was like a nada, and they didn't like all that stuff. And let's just face it, that's oil and water. That's a guy who wants to poke the bear until the bear gets angry, and Auburn wants to sneak up on the bear. No – I wasn't making any a reference to Alabama, former Bear. But, yeah, I, I mean, Lane Kiffin's going to have a year where he's going to pop up and have a great year, but he's not going to have consistent success, and I don't know that he's going to have success in 2023. Can I be a little fair? to? I agree. I got to be a little fair to Lane on this. It's not about moving his kids. I will say this, though. You know, outside of the one year where they spent $180,000 to get Cam Newton and go win a national title – like when you talk about programs that have some limitations, we might need to start talking about Auburn in the same vein as Ole Miss to a certain degree. And so I don't know, man, there's a lot more money at Auburn. That that might be true. Um, where I was going to get at though is let's I, I, okay. Take, take football out where forget your kids. Where would you rather live? I'd rather live in Oxford than live in Auburn. I'm just going to be honest. Like I, my, I got family in Alabama uh, I got, I, I, my mom has a house in Fairhope. She lives in Tuscaloosa during the year. I go between North and South Alabama, man. So like the part of Alabama Auburn is in, that's just a boring, boring part to be in of the state. I'm sorry, Auburn fans. I would never want to live there ever. I'd much rather live in Oxford. It's nicer. And also you're close to a city cause you're close to Memphis. So you're close to things to do. Auburn is boring. See, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd really know in either because both of those places and road trips that I've covered um, are tough. They're, they're tough to stay in town. So they're get out, get in and get out towns. So you stay someplace close like Memphis with Oxford or in uh, Auburn, you just stay, you know, about an hour up the road, whatever hotel you could find off the interstate. So I don't know. And that what I'm is an hour up the road in Auburn? That's the question. Well, it was nothing. It was like a Homewood <laughs> Suites. All by its lonesome before GPS, and I'm trying to find it and got lost and cried a little bit, to be honest with you. But um, you might get robbed by a bunch of cows. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Well, it was it was funny though because when I paid for the hotel, they asked me, "Will it be credit card or would you like to trade in cheap?" <laughs> it's the barter system. Was, Wait, this is an honest question. For that was a good joke, and I got nothing from Caleb on that one. Sorry, I'm 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 young. I don't even know like what the barter system is. You pay oh for barter bartering bartering yeah. yeah. You pay for yeah. your hotel yeah. and cars and sheep. Oh, I trade in sheep. I thought you said trade in cheap, like C H E A P. Oh, no. that makes sense. yeah no. no. I pay I pay for my hotel with sheep and pies. <laughs> Uh, see, this is a this is a conversation, by the way, to have. What's the most boring, dull SEC town that you would never want to live in, no matter how good of a job it was? I, I might have Auburn at the top of that list. I gotta be honest. Auburn might, Starkville might be there too. Auburn and Starkville are, are my top two. Sorry, Mississippi State and Auburn fans, not a fan of either of y'all's towns. <laughs> well, Starkville though blew me away by the game atmosphere. I was very impressed, and part of it's the cowbells and open press box, but. So what are you going to do the rest of the year outside of those seven games that they play at home? Uh, I don't know. Take a, <laughs> take a vacation and ask if your travel agent will take sheep and pies. 